Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Neon Genesis Evangelion episode number 19 and 20. Alright, the previous episode, um, it was quite brutal because obviously like Toji was in the Evangelion and Shinji after knowing it, he like let out a, like a blood curling scream in the end and I don't know how he's going to react, you know, after this, like what will he do? because it was like like he was like he was stressed at the fact that yeah i probably killed someone and he was stressed at that factor alone when he found out that it was his friend oh my god yeah like i don't know how he will react to this like will like will he like uh, like will he agree to like pilot the evangelion after this i'm, I'm not sure like you know and uh, like I don't know what to say like Shinji kind of like you know like obviously I cannot blame him because he is a kid you know Shinji is a kid that's one thing that we usually forget <laughs> so yeah it, because he's a kid and he is one of those introverted uh, like you know people who kind of keep to themselves and all uh, he like decided not to make a choice and decided to ra run away which I'm sure a lot of you know people would have done if they were in that situation because no one wants to dirty their own hands like that's a hard fact so that's what Shinji did and because of that like the situation is worse than it would have I'm guessing it would have happened if Shinji took you know like control and said that okay like I'll do it I'll like uh, try to neutralize the Evangelion without uh, like going into much violence like stuff like that if he said something like that and tried to uh, you know, like keep the violence to a minimum and uh, take the Evangelion out, neutralize the Evangelion. I'm I'm sure like Toji would have gotten a lot, you know, like like his condition would have been a lot more better than it is now. So yeah, but obviously as I was I said that Shinji is a kid, and even if he was not a kid, a lot of people wouldn't be able to take that decision because taking the decision of dirtying your own hands is a big thing, and. Like, you know, you need a lot of conviction, a lot of, you know, uh, what can I say? Like, your will should be, like, rock hard <laughs> if, you, if you want to, uh, like, make a decision like that. So, which, uh, like, most of the people do not have. So, yeah, I cannot blame him. And I do not blame him for this, you know, thing that he did. Let's see how he reacts to this after knowing that uh, Toji is in it. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get started with Yon Genesis Evangelion episode number 19 so i'll be putting subtitles and the timer here sync it whichever is your preference and let's get started right so here's the countdown three two one go all right Excuse me. <laughs> the, the opening is so, you know, I don't know, like energetic. And then we, we get into this like depression and what else, like psychological drama and stuff, weird things happening. <laughs> oh boy. Ah. Uh, Okay, let's see what Shinji will do in today's episode. My bet is like, he'll say that I won't get in, you know, the Evangelion again. And maybe, I don't know, like, he'll change his mind later on, which I'm sure he'll do because he's like the main protagonist. So like, if he does not, you know, pilot the Evangelion, then who will? Oh, he's still piloting it. Okay, that's not something that I expected.
What? Wait, what's... Wait, is he saying that he'll destroy the headquarter or something? A man's battle. I think his dad is... Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. He's going to say this. Yep. Okay, what happened to Doji? Oh my god. Damn, the Evangelion is so... Okay. Yeah. What? Dream? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. This is Toji, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, he's fine. Thank God. Like at least he's alive, you know? But what happened to his, you know? Like, is his body okay? Like, some kind of physical problems or something? I'm guessing it must have had some kind of problem. Oh, this is a dream world. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, this is the class representative, isn't it? I forgot her name. Oh, Shinji is not here. Did he get discharged or something? Oh, so, oh my god, so he's sleeping for one day. Three days, oh. Come on. Yeah, that's true. Like, is, what about him? Like, is he okay? His physical? Okay. Ah, here we go. Oh my god, three! Three handcuffs! Ah, uh, yeah, I saw this coming. Teacher's place. Oh, he lived with his teacher? Okay. Really left, yeah. Ray will be. 
<sighs> what now? Like Who is calling him? Misato, I'm guessing. I think so. Misato is calling him. Like that's the only one who would probably call him at this moment. Maybe his friends, you know, friends from school. Oh, his friend, yeah. The other guy. I forgot his name. Yeah, he wanted to become a pilot, like... Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> wow, amazing! <laughs> this is just, like, getting better and better. Yeah. yeah is he okay oh no oh yeah that's also another question oh is that so then that means the class representative can also become Yeah, everyone was like, you know, putting their hopes. Yeah. Oh no! Another angel? Oh my god, what will you do now? Oh great. Like, the trains will... Yeah, like, the trains will not move like again. I'm guessing, like... Round two, yeah. Oh my god, it's a flying angel! <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh my god. Asian. Okay. Asuka is going. Okay. Yeah. Oh no. Like it's rejecting. Oh, it's rejecting her, is it? Like because most probably like Shinji was in it. Rejecting me? What? Oh no! Oh, so Asuka is going. Like Ray is in Unit Zero, and it's dummy. Like one is using the dummy plug. Okay. What a weird type of a uh, structure of that angel. <laughs> what is that?
Oh damn, she has the weapons just beside her. My god, nothing's happening. It's just like standing there. What the? Oh! What? Just like that? Oh no, it'll. Yeah! Like the neural. Oh, great. Oh no! Like, imagine the pain. Oh my god. Oh my... It's ignoring her. Yeah, I, I thought like it's Ray's, Ray's dummy plug. Like it, if it's rejecting Ray, why will it like? I think something happened, you know, like when Shinji like kind of saw that like her mom kind of in that Evangelion. I think after that, it's like rejecting anyone besides Shinji, I, I'm guessing. Oh, Kaji. <laughs> Kaji's just like standing and watering his plants. <laughs> yeah, so why are you here then? Like, you know? Oh. Wait, dying? What? Oh! Oh, okay. This is something new. Oh no, he's going to blow himself up. Yeah. Oh no, it closed itself. Oh god damn. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, you know. <sighs> oh, boy. Yep. Hmm. This decision, you know, like up until now, he used to. Parent the Evangelion because he told him to, like, because, because his dad told him to, but now, like, the decision is made by him himself, so, yeah.
Yeah, it's going for the a Adam. Oh, I, I kind of said this before, you know, I, I, like, I'm going to talk about this later on. All right, let's just see. Oh, great. Okay. Ugh. Oh! Like, come on, give him some web. Like, is there no weapon? Like, that little knife that he always had? Okay. Yeah, yeah, just like rip it off. Oh. What? Oh, no, no, no. What? Oh. There's no spare bat. The spare battery is also not working. What the hell? Oh no. Oh. What? Oh no, it's the Where Shinji? No, oh no, no. Wait a minute. Oh no, it's cracking. Yeah. Yeah, like this happened before, you know, I think two or three times when it started wa like working on its own without any power. Oh my God. Damn. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> wow, <laughs> like, uh, yeah, like, uh, my hand, my hand is broken, or oh, let me just fix it. Four. <laughs> wow. She's, wait, the Vangelin's a female? Oh, maybe uh, somehow related to his mom or something? Damn. <laughs> oh my god. What the? It's, it's acting like a monkey, you know? <laughs> How monkeys do? Oh. Oh, yeah, ma. Uh, it's eating it. Great. Okay. Oh my god. Is Shinji like you know like okay inside like is he conscious? What the findings? What? Oh, I was thinking, like, why is his hand looking like this? So that's the original body. Failure won't stop. Oh my god. <laughs> 
okay so okay like the thing that i was going to talk about is like um like you know when we saw him i think it was when he was uh you know like inside that inside the underground like he was taken underground like when he almost gave up hope at that moment like he saw his i think that's his mom like a silhouette of a female as i said i guess that's his mom she kind of like you know came in front of him so that's why i said that maybe uh like also when uh riska she said that uh she has awakened so the evangelion is a female and i'm guessing the evangelion is somehow connected to his mom or something maybe the dna or something it has is like his mom's dna or something and it's like a weird thing uh made out of it you know like because okay because uh as we saw like there was not an armor plating like we were under the wrong impression like we always thought that yeah evangelion is a metal thing you know like i also thought that it was a metal thing it was like fully metal and something and it only like uh like you know it had a special power of kind of like working uh without power whenever like shinji piloted it or something or whenever like shinji is in danger or something it started working on its own so we were under this impression like but it turns out that uh those are restraints so within that thing it's a real evangelion and as we saw like uh the broken the, the like that broken armor plating hand it when it like put it in uh, the original position and it like regrew back uh the armor plating is not there anymore it's like uh like a normal hand a big normal hand so i'm not sure like if that is really something like uh, like what the evangelion actual actually is like within the evangelion armor plating is it like a real human type of thing with like you know flesh and like normal skin or something like a human or is it something completely different so i don't know like uh there are a few things to think about here you know like the first of all uh ray used to pilot the evangelion before before shinji came it used to accept her but then when after shinji came and shinji started piloting the evangelion and especially i think after um uh the incident where like shinji was under you know was taken underground because before that like i think there's they used to de- do these type of tests where they used to uh put other like you know like uh, put ray in shinji's uh, evangelion and used to like test the synchronization rate and something it did not re- reject her at that moment um, as well uh, and another thing that uh, like i kind of remember remember happening is like um ray's uh, evangelion like rejected shinji like this before you know like ray's evangelion kind of like tried to kill shinji when shinji got in but it was not never the other way around so like after that the only thing that the only notable thing that happened was shinji was taken underground in that weird thing where shinji almost like gave up hope but then the, uh, like weird things happened and like shinji got like weird uh, like hallucinations of a female kind of like hugging him which i'm guessing like it was his mom's silhouette and uh, like <clears throat> you know and then like after that after that today in today's episode he started rejecting ray you know but another thing i'm kind of thinking like it rejected ray and then it started rejecting the dummy you know the dummy pilot uh, which has rays i'm guessing rays uh, like thing in it uh, what do you call it dna i'm guessing like in it or uh, like it was made from ray that uh, like dummy plug or whatever it's called so it started rejecting it as well so i was thinking like yeah like if it's rejecting ray it would probably also reject uh, like that dummy thing as well so now here comes the question uh when did this start happening before because like in the previous episode just the previous episode when uh, like toji was in danger um they inserted the dummy plug it worked even though it went kind of like uh, berserk it kind of like started doing things on its own and like became too brutal so it worked at that moment that means at that moment i'm guessing Ray's uh, dummy plug working means like if Ray also got in that evangelion it would have worked like it would have not rejected Ray so what happened after that that is started suddenly started to reject Ray and also the dummy plug 
and it only lets Shinji get in now. Like something must have changed, you know. I'm not sure. Like, anyways. And another thing, thinking about it, like I kind of made a theory that Rei is probably Shinji's sister, because you know, like Shinji, like looking at her, said that you remind me of my mom, which I'm guessing is because. Is, is she somehow related or something or maybe that's just like Shinji's mis you know like misconception or something I don't know anyway so like I kind of made this theory that it's like she's Shinji's, Shinji's sister I don't know it's kind of getting confusing now because like if he really is Shinji's sister then why did like if the Evangelion started rejecting her you know I, I don't know like like the few things that I have, uh, you know, like um, that I have thought about, like these are like little bits and pieces of theories that I've thought about is like the first thing that I have thought is that Rei is uh, Shinji's sister. It might be correct or it might be wrong. You know, I'm not sure. But this is just an assumption that I've made. Few reasons I've already talked about the few reasons. First of all, the like Shinji looks at her and says that you remind me of my mom. That one. Another reason is like Shinji's dad is so affectionate towards her. That might be a reason. Uh, like that's another reason. And I don't know. Like all of these, uh, these two are the only reasons. I thought that yeah, maybe she is actually Shinji's sister. I might be wrong. I might be right. But it is just an assumption. That's the first assumption that I made. The second assumption is uh, that the Shinji's Evangelion that is uh, unit one <coughs> it has I'm guessing like it is somehow connected to Shinji's mom I'm not sure how it's connected maybe it's like her DNA is in it you know because they usually like they kind of said before that Evangelion's DNA are kind of like uh, and the angel's DNA are also, also kind of uh, like mutated from human human DNA or something like that I'm not sure but it kind of said something like that so that's why like I, uh, maybe like you know like Shinji's mom's DNA is within the Evangelion and that's why like uh, the Evangelion only like is uh, like accepting Shinji and maybe that's also the, another reason why like you know like Shinji saw her mom's silhouette within it that's another assumption I've made I'm not sure if it's correct or not but yeah like these two other assumptions that I've made I'll like I'll have to wait and see if uh, those assumptions are correct or not. And did I like guess correctly, or maybe not? Okay, like these are the two assumptions uh, like that I've made us like uh, up till episode number ninety after C. So let's wait and watch. All right, so this episode, um, this was um, as I expected. Shinji like this, like said that I won't pilot the Evangelion anymore, and I've said this before, but yeah, like. <clears throat> You cannot blame him in a sense because obviously like he's a child like yeah I'm kind of saying this like like it's like an excuse that yeah Shinji is a child so like I cannot blame him but still you know like like because he is young like you can forgive him if, was, if he was like a grown-ass man I would have said that no you're, you're like acting like a you know a pansy so <laughs> just because he is a kid I'm kind of saying that okay like it's fine so yeah and uh, but you know like a few things that i uh, kind of thought about in this episode is like one thing that i've seen is like as misato said that shinji always runs away which we already saw in the previous episodes as well and you know like that's his bad habit which he kind of conquered in this episode in a way because he himself made the decision you know like after before this or before this uh, like episode why was he piloting the Evangelion? Because his dad said him so. Why was he piloting the Evangelion? Because his, like, he could, like, you know, show his dad that, yeah, I'm worthy. Like, he wanted to prove something to his dad. So, that's why. But after, like, so that's why, like, you know, when, like, uh, problems struck, he always used to say that, okay, like, I'll not pilot the Evangelion. Because, like, it was not in his interest that he was... Uh, piloting the Evangelion is because his dad told him to so whenever like something related to his dad happened he always used to say that okay like why am I even doing this even like if my dad's not even looking at me if my dad doesn't understand me why am I doing this I won't do it I'm going back home blah 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 like he used to do stuff like that because his dad was the main reason for him piloting the Evangelion so 
So in this episode, the same thing happened, you know, like he went to his dad and his dad said that if you don't want to pile the Evangelion, get out. Like, we don't need you. And when like Shinji was going away, like his dad kind of <laughs> said that, like, you're running away again. And he said that, yeah, I'm running away. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to. And he went away and all, then Misato came in and started, like, talk with him. And he was quite, you know, like, con uh, like full of conviction. He said that, yeah, I won't, I won't pilot Evangelion anymore. And then, like, problem struck, the angel came in, and Shinji, like, a few things happened which kind of changed Shinji's mind. The first thing was, like, when he saw Asuka's Evangelion, like, so badly beaten. That's the first thing. And uh, the second thing is when he saw, I'm guessing, like, Ray kind of uh, coming, like, Ray's Evangelion coming out, and Ray was trying to, you know, suicide bomb herself. That and uh like an, like then another thing that happened is like which also made him uh reevaluate his choices is kaji like kaji said a good thing is that like you know like the only thing i can do is stand here and water these watermelons <laughs> but like that's the only thing i can do so i'm doing it but you have a choice you know so like just keep in mind that whatever you do don't regret it in the future and that's the thing which kind of made him change his mind and he decided to uh, take the decision himself that yeah i will not pilot the evangelion on someone else's orders i will pilot the evangelion because i am the pilot of unit one and i want to do it i want to help you know my friends and also fight alongside them that's why he got in the evangelion and started fighting again and I, I think that's the best thing that could have happened in this episode because I think this is the first time Shinji has made a decision as himself, you know, and without like uh, any orders from his dad, he started to think for himself, which I'm glad about it. And yeah, it's good, but the situation's not good because you know, like then like weird stuff started happening, like the Vangelian like started. Uh, like you know like work like walking on its own it like like reattached its arm and it like grew new arm and like it started eating the angel and started screaming and I don't know like they're saying that it has awakened I'm not sure what that means and <laughs> like what's going to happen after this and like Shinji's dad seemed as usual stoic like a stoic first personality he's just like yeah it has awakened like it's starting i don't, I don't know what's starting but yeah something bad is starting maybe so yeah let's see what happens in the next episode because yeah oh also another thing that we know and came to know in this episode is the actual uh you know like the actual uh target of the angels so the angels are targeting the Adam. So I kind of said this before, like I, I did, like I did not say that the Adam, but I thought that maybe it's targeting the Evangelions. You know, like I used to say this before. Like I said that maybe the angels are targeting the Evangelions because it's always targeting the headquarters and it's like it's trying to, you know, kind of penetrate the headquarter and go down. And I thought maybe the Evangelions are inside, so that's why it's always trying to, like you know, invade the headquarter and like somehow attracted to the Evangelion. Turns out that's not the case. It's actually targeting the Adam, which is like situated there. And another thing that Kaji said is that if the angel comes into contact with the Adam, which is uh, like we, the Adam, which is also like an angel, you know, like we know that Adam, the Adam is like a newborn angel. So if it comes into contact, the third impact will happen, which will like destroy the whole place. Not even the whole place. I think they destroy whole the whole humanity yeah like few questions came in like uh if like why will it explode and what will happen was the actual significance of an atom and if it is going to explode why the hell is it you know like <laughs> like in, in the headquarters like what the hell are they even doing with it like that's the biggest question like if it's so dangerous why is it just like underground so yeah like these questions uh, i'm sure we'll get the answers so yeah guys that was it that was uh, episode number 19 so we'll be starting uh, episode number 20 yeah episode number 20 of neon genesis evangelion so yeah guys i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown 
three, two, one, go. Okay, let's see. I thought they were going to, you know, like lengthen the whole thing with Shinji. Like I, I thought they were going to stretch it because, like you know, like they were probably going to take one or two episodes for Shinji to actually, you know, settle down and like understand that yeah, I have to go on. I have to pilot the Evangelion. But they kind of uh, like wrapped it up in a single episode, not even a single episode, in half an episode. So I'm happy about that, you know, because I usually do not like these kind of segments, like. When you know the main character kind of says that oh I won't do it and he starts like walking <laughs> walking down the horizon and like thinking of like what the hell am I even doing and what should I do now? Like usually these episodes kind of like they stretch these episodes, like it takes one or two episodes. The main character kind of goes somewhere else, he finds someone in the same problem like him and he kind of procrastinates. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens you know and then he thinks that like yeah like i should probably do it like he finds his own resolve and then he comes back and like he finds himself in a new problem which is like endangering the humanity and then he with his newfound resolve starts to <laughs> like you know <laughs> like starts uh doing the thing again this takes two or three episodes but thankfully they completed in half an episode okay let's see Oh yeah, this is also another thing, it's eat eating the angel. <clears throat> I'm, get, I'm thinking like what's happening to Shinji, is he even conscious? Yeah, look at his hand, it, it looks like a normal human hand. Yeah, so what should we do now? Yeah. Oh, it took, yeah, it took the engine. <laughs> They're like sitting and discussing. Form of the mind, form of the man. The first day, what? Oh, what happened to unit one? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. The restraints are all off, that means. Damn, look at it. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is no time to, you know, crack jokes. <laughs> hmm. Oh my god, these guys are just like sitting and like yapping around. This bell will take action. Yeah. Hmm. 
Okay. Oh, is he still in there? Oh my god, I thought he was outside. Damn, it's not letting him get out. What? Oh my god. It's in... It's, it's like it's vanished. Something created by man. Created by man. Oh boy. Second day. She woke up. I'm guessing Asuka's also hospitalized. Day. Damn. Yeah, how are we going to do that? Oh my god. Oh. What's this ego border? Quantum form. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. So how are you going to get him out in that? <coughs> the water of primitive earth. Loop of life. Okay. Oh. Okay, reconstructing his body. All right. Hmm. For today. Oh, it changes perspective. Damn his. Oh my God. Oh, his memories. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, great. What?
Mm. Oh, that's why he said that, you know, like. <clears throat> Wait, I knew you that? What? Wait, so he forgot stuff? 13th, 13th. Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, great. Wow. That's the first day. Oh my god, he has this kind of... <clears throat> yeah, he's like doing this because he wants to be the good boy. Yeah, like he wants to be that good boy. No one will like him. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, like he's thinking that they are like all like pinning their hopes on. Yeah. Like, just think about the amount of self deprecation he has for himself. <clears throat> like, he needs someone else's validation for him. To exist. And then he's kind of like throwing a tantrum and saying that, yeah, I did all of this for, you know, for you guys. So why are you guys not? Damn, <laughs> the dream world is. <clears throat> wow, this is like looping. Oh, great. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. Ah. <clears throat> Frozen in a loop, okay.
Yeah. Oh, great. Oh, it's mental. Like he has to make a decision for himself again in this situation as well. Oh, great. Again, the silhouette. Oh my God, the Evangelion is also like rejecting it now. Oh. Oh no, what now? What the hell? Mm. Yeah, decide for yourself. <laughs> and he decided, you know. What the? Yeah, here it is. Like, I'm saying, like, raise maybe the daughter, like, she's your sister or something. Oh, yeah, she's just inside then. <laughs> 33rd day. Artificial human evangelion. Yeah. Like who even made this and
Yeah, what is that about? A damn destroyer. Yeah. Oh. So he doesn't even probably know. <laughs> oh great. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Just continuing? Oh, great. <clears throat> what? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what was that in the end? I have to check that portion again. Like, what was that capsule? Alright, um... <laughs> Weird stuff happened again this episode. And... So, like, Shinji himself was kind of rejecting, like, getting to get out. Like, he was not, like, you know, prepared to come out. So that's why he was unable like like you know in the end like they were saying that like we are unable to save him because maybe he himself is reluctant and like at the same time we were kind of seeing like him inside that dream world him saying that yeah like everything i did was like to gain others you know uh valid like valid you know like others uh like acceptance that's what uh i did all right uh that's what i did for <clears throat> like so long you know now then he kind of changes in a way uh, he says that uh, but now like uh, like after then like we see um the whole thing with misato him talking misato saying that you have to make a choice now and shinji then kind of you know changes his mindset and he thinks that yeah i'll have to do it and that's the moment when he comes out of that situation and his real body like materializes and like that's also why uh, like Risco said that uh, like it's probably your you know like uh, all thanks to you that we got him back it's, it was not because of me it was because of you because in a way like Misato's words kind of helped Shinji make the decision uh, in the previous uh, like you know in the previous situation and in this situation as well within the uh, dream world so like that was it like it's nothing much complicated like i was thinking like they're probably like going to pull up some complicated stuff but i think that was basically it like him like the way he was wanting like uh, like i like you know like i kind of had a little bit of a different type of an opinion about the situation is that Mm, like I thought that Shinji is doing all of this because he wants his dad's uh, like you know dad's acceptance but turns out that no that's a little bit wrong it's not only his dad he wants everyone's acceptance which obviously yeah, we as human beings kind of do you know like we want to be, be that good person so we kind of like be you know like be in our best behaviors in front of strangers <laughs> but if like they are like uh, good friends and stuff like we kind of like slip up uh, from moment to moment and we like, kind of show our ugly parts to them that's because we know them for quite a while like you don't have to wear a mask in front of them because you know like they're our friends and we can trust them we can like even if we like show our you know bad parts ugly parts they'll be able to accept us because we know them so well that's why we do that like also that's also the reason why you know they kind of say like there's a japanese word saying that uh like kenka suru hodo naka ga ii uh, I think it's the English thing, like like the more you are closer to another, like the more you fight, something like that. 
that's the reason you know like if you are close to someone you know that they won't reject you just because you had a little fight but in front of a stranger whom you like you know meet for the first time you'll always be like you know that good person like yeah i'm like you know like you'll be at your best behavior because you don't know who he is how he is and how he's going to react how his personality is so like you are at your best behavior because you want to make a good first impression that's it like you know like that's the same for all human beings and same for shinji as well he wants to be the good boy in front of everyone uh, for a few people that's a little bit extreme you know like someone who always like kind of uh like like gives this like cutesy act and kind of like acts in front of others like extremely weirdly and like it's kind of extreme in that moment but everyone kind of does does this in front of others for some people it's a bit too much for some people it's a bit less like you know for people who it's a bit it's uh, for who it's a bit less is are those people who kind of don't care about what others think about them and you know those kind of people who we think that are like not social and uh, like you know don't don't doesn't care about other people like we see a lot of characters in anime you know those like uh, loner characters who are quite scary who always like keep sitting and when we get to know them and there it seems as if like they're one of the best people around like those type of people they they doesn't care that's why they they act like that and for people who actually care uh, like it's all humans kind of do that and for there are other people as well who kind of cares a little bit too much they kind of like over overact you know so yeah that's what i'm saying like same thing with shinji so shinji was this like person who wanted to be you know the best boy so that others will uh you know accept him give him very uh like validation and um, and also like okay so that's the thing like that we understood and then comes the next portion when he starts throwing a tantrum and saying that like like see like i did everything for you guys so why you know like why aren't you accepting me why am i like going through all of this why does no one like me but you know like a lot of people likes you we can see that like his friends misato uh, Asuka, I, I'm guessing like she, it's like his her sundere thing, thing, but still he she also definitely cares about you. Ray as well, and I'm guessing his dad as well in a way, like you know in a weird way. Uh, like we kind of saw a little bit of a flashback, I think, where his dad was saying that, uh, like you know, his mom was saying that how is he even going to? Uh, no, not his mom. His dad was saying that how is he even going to survive in this situation after like this second impact. And his mom says that like don't worry like if he's alive good things will come and yeah and another thing they kind of showed in this episode is like when they said that if it's a boy we'll name it Sh we'll name him shinji and it's a girl uh we'll name we'll name her rei now i think this is also kind of uh you know like a proof uh it's to my into my theory that is like uh you know, um, Ray. Ray is Shinji's sister, and maybe, you know, I'm guessing. So there's a lot of uh, like, you know, hints and clues pointing towards it as to like, Ray is probably somehow related to Shinji, and like, m most probably his sister. So this also kind of points towards that direction. Let's just wait for it. I'm sure we'll get an answer as you know time comes and another thing we saw is like the evangelion without its those things those metal things it it looks like a weird i don't like bandaged monster <laughs> no like it looks weird like it looks like uh one of those <laughs> you know what the evangelion reminds me it reminds me of one of those um you know serial killers who <laughs> i don't know why like it, it reminds me of one of those serial killers who have this like bandaged around his head or something like because it's his skin is you know like extremely in bad condition that's why like completely bandaged and looks like uh like weird demon kind of thing uh <laughs> yeah it reminds me of that like you know the way he's smiling like this like this 
it's, it, it, it's like freaky <laughs> and yeah thankfully like uh everything is okay now okay one thing that which i was going to uh, check what was that in the end like just a sec um okay here it is whose hand is this like wait a minute let me just okay ray is saying that what are you doing at a time like this what's that and whose hand is this this is not uh you know kaji's hand it, it looks like a female hand it must be ray uh, uh misato's hand this is this pill and uh, kaji says that it's a present for you first one in eight years so it must be the maybe the last okay i'm sure we'll get more confirmation in the next episode i don't know like like uh, kaji's kind of like talking as if he's going to die like you know in, when he was talking with um, shinji as well he was saying that what was he saying that before i die i'm like i'm like watering these like watermelons or something like yeah he kind of said that i'm not really sure but oh yeah and oh also another thing they kind of showed in this uh, episode when shinji kind of is like in that dream world uh like he says that like my uh, father abandoned me uh, and like there's this like ray's kind of you know like <clears throat> little ray and she's saying that as if you did not run away all by yourself and <clears throat> uh, Shinji says that it's all dad's fault uh, that time I was actually going to say that I hate him and then like, where was that section just a sec oh here it is uh, yeah I was kind of thinking Okay, uh, Shinji says that that's right. I knew the ever. Okay. Excuse me. So he's saying like it was not his first time seeing the ever, and he's saying again that, and that time I run ran away, away from father and mother. So, so is it what I'm thinking is like maybe Shinji knew that as he's saying like. He knew the Evangelion and like so that means like she ran away from his father and mother and he forgot about it is that it like you know like maybe he was also introduced in uh, uh, like you know to the Evangelion before uh, along with uh, when he was with his mom and dad and later on he kind of ran away from something and that's why like uh, like it's actually not the, the, the case is not that his dad abandoned him it's probably like Shinji ran away from both of them. Is that it? Like, I'm not sure. Like, we'll, I'm sure we'll get more answers later on. But it kind of feels as if it's like that. And maybe like Ray knows about it, you know? Like, the way Ray always, like, kind of, uh, you know, like, like at that moment when he, like, uh, met with Ray for the first time, like when Ray kind of got mad at him when he was blaming his dad. Maybe that's why she got mad, you know, because actually uh, the fault lied with Shinji and he's kind of blaming everything on his dad, which is not true. And he himself forgot about it. Something like that. Maybe is it something, it, it's something like that, you know. Uh, who knows? Like, you know, whenever like Shinji says that you abandoned me, maybe that's not the case. Maybe he ran away and he forgot about it. And you know, like this weird, like mental issue where, like, it's like a mental issue for Shinji. If if that is really the case, you know, if Shinji really ran away from his mom and dad, and he comes in a few years later and says that you abandoned me, that is probably a mental problem, you know, where he kind of shut down his previous memories just to keep himself safe, or like keep his sane sanity or something like that. Yeah, like if that is really the case, then that is kind of a mental problem he has, maybe. 
So anyways, like we'll probably get to the answer later on. And yeah, thank God, like everything is probably fine. I'm guessing Shinji kind of came out and we're still not sure what is going to happen to Kaji. Like he's kind of talking as if he's going to die. I don't know. And yeah. That's it. That was this episode. So thankfully, Doji is fine. Shinji is also fine. The angel is no more. But the only kind of concern we have is about Kaji, and another concern is about the Evangelion. Like it's kind of dormant at this moment. Who knows when it'll start? You know, kind of acting weird again. Yeah, a lot of questions, like, you know, came in these two episodes. These two episodes kind of, like, gave us a lot of new questions. Kind of answered a few questions, but also, like, brought up a lot of questions. So, yeah, I'm guessing we'll get more clarification as the anime goes on. This is the 20th episode, so I think, uh, like, six more episodes left. And I'm going to, like, say this before. Uh, I know that this anime, uh, like, has 26 episodes. Then there are, I think, uh, a, an alternative ending. Uh, 25 and 26 i think there is like an alternative ending to it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to watch till 26 then uh the next week i'm going to uh, like watch the alternative ending and then i know there are a few other things as well related to evangelion the first thing is uh, i think it's called death and rebirth i'm not sure what it actually is but i kind of checked it out it's like a little movie uh, like two hour thing so I'm I'm guessing I like I'll I'll do it in like the next after the uh, week after that, like I'll do that, and then comes the three movies. I think is it three or two? I'm not sure. Uh, like three or two movies there are, which kind of is like the remake with like you know better animations. I really want to watch that. I'll watch that after you know after everything ends. Like I'll watch that because like I really want to see how like the modern you know animations kind of make this. Like, I'm really curious about it. I, 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 I want to watch that. So I'll watch those two movies after, like, on the, like, successive weeks. And I think there is another movie which came out recently, which is Evangelion, I think, 3.0 plus 1 or something. I'm not sure what it is. But after it comes out, I'll probably watch that as well. So, like, we'll, it'll take a lot, like, you know, a few more, uh, I think, two more months for all the Evangelion stuff to end for me to, uh, you know, reacting. So I'll do each and everything related to Evangelion. Uh, so yeah, so like that's my plan. I just wanted to say it. So thank you guys for watching. So this was uh, episode number um, 20 of Neon Genesis Evangelion. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, press the like button and subscribe if you're new to this channel or you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so because that helps a lot and that will help me in, you know, uh, getting monetized and all and also like uh, be sure to comment down if you want to say anything or if you want to share anything i'll be sure to check them out mm, so yeah guys and i think i have not said this uh, i said this before quite a while ago but uh, like my impressions of evangelion is quite positive i'm really liking it that's why like you know i also want to, to do the other movies as well because like i really want to see how the modern you know like art style and everything kind of is with evangelion like i'm quite curious so yeah, that's why like I'm I'm going to do each and everything related to Evangelion because I really am liking this show. I I did not like expect myself to enjoy this so much, but yeah, I'm quite liking it. Like uh, like small little bits and pieces, I really uh, I'm quite you know like surprised and really uh, you know fascinated at how they do it. So yeah, like especially those weird uh, like weird segments. <laughs> So yeah guys, so uh, thank you guys for watching. So this was Evangelion episode number 19 and 20. So I'll see you guys next week with two more episodes of Neon Genesis Evangelion. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.